And we're going to start with a Star Wars one right here. Super rare mint Star Wars figures. $4,000. I can tell already without reading the description. These ain't mint. Look at the, look at the yellowing on these figures. Ugh. I have three very rare Star Wars. Let me just, before I get started, they always say it's always very rare or child, like my, they always want to say it's their childhood. These are the ones I play with as toys. Like they don't know nothing about it. I have three very rare, oh, it says very R. I have three very R Star Wars action figures that were sold only at Sears back in 1886. <sighs> I knew Sears been around a long time, but I didn't know they were selling Star Wars figures in 1886. I guess Laura Ingalls was out buying them when she was going to the handy store to buy some seed or something. Yeah, let's see. They are hard to find and most people never seen them. Everybody's seen these. They are worth a lot. Like a lot. They are in good shape, but the monster has lost his bow. I, I guess he means Walrus Man? Walrus Man doesn't have a bow? I don't know what he's talking about right there. I'm going, I'm going a low price for it because I need to sell it fast to get money for you know what no we don't know what we don't know what you're selling these for we really don't care uh, asking for a thousand dollars or we'll take more if you use cash app or venmo thanks for your time they will ask for more they will take more if you use one of those apps who's gonna say okay i want to pay more just just just, just give me here just take whatever i got because look at these they're so rare i've got to have them Oh, now let's go one. This isn't. This is He-Man. Are you a fan of He-Man? Well, here's a rare He-Man figure. I almost had to bust out the wallet for this one. Check this out. He-Man bad guy toy rare. Rare is a big keyword right there. Six thousand dollars. Let's see exactly. I don't remember this figure, so let's see exactly what this is. I have this rare bad bad guy from the He-Man toy line. His name is Lizardo. Lizardo. I don't remember Lizardo. Lizardo. He was only sold in the Midwest of the U.S. He is really rare, and the one toy from the He-Man collectors won't. He goes for about ten to fifteen thousand on eBay, but I'm asking six thousand for him. Oh, he's giving us a deal. He is even in the box. Super rare. Buy it, flip it, retire. It's easy. Local meetup only. Must be at the Kroger on November 11th at 8 p.m. I will wait until 8.10. Whoo, he's going to give me 10 minutes to get there to Kroger. You don't tell you what a Kroger. Maybe in this town where they posted it, there was only one Kroger. I don't know. But let's start first off. I don't know. It looks like some kind of bootleg generic figure. It looks like I have a picture of a football player on the package. But it's not He-Man. It's not Lizardo. If it is Lizardo, it might be because there's no Lizardo in He-Man. Only sold in the Midwest. What an odd place only to sell a toy. I mean, I can see only sold in the United States, only sold in Europe or something. I never heard it. Only sold in the Midwest. I mean, it was a test market or something. And they go for ten to fifteen thousand dollars. But he's a he's a nice guy. He's gonna let you have it for six thousand. And what can you do? You can resell it. Well, you can buy it, flip it, and retire. So the thing's only worth, let's say if he's right, let's say it's worth fifteen thousand. Who's gonna retire with fifteen thousand dollars? I guess you retire, you have this thing, take a picture of it, post it over and over again, fool people like he's trying to do. Maybe you can retire after you fake sell, you know, about 2,000 of them. That's just crazy. Now, now, mm, November, they got to get on November 11th. Okay, let's look at three vintage Star Wars figures. Check this one out. Three Star Wars old vintage Kenner figures. One dollar or trade only. I have, for trade only, three Star Wars figures from 1977. One is Luke Skywalker, the other is Yoda, and the last is a Rebel Soldier guy. All are like new and have some of their weapons as far as I know. I'm not looking to sell, trade only. Please check what I'm looking for. Best you even think of contacting me. I don't, I don't know. The, these figures are worth about $50 to $100 each, so keep that in mind. We'll get to his trading list in just a second, but let's break down the rest of this. First, threw in the word old around vintage. Got to throw that in there. So he has three figures from 1977. Well, looking at this, I see an Ugnut, which he thinks is Yoda, and that's not from 1977 because there was no figures or toys released in 1977. He has a Luke, but it wasn't 1977 or even 78. This is the Return of the Jedi Luke, so we're talking 83. Um, and he has a Rebel Soldier guy. He has a painted 
Death Star command, Death Squad commander. That someone has painted, and it doesn't. It's not even painted to look like a Rebel soldier. So I don't even know where that's coming from. It does say it's like new. Look at them. Look, they've been kicked around the concrete. Uh, has some of the weapons, some of the weapons. I don't see any weapons in this picture at all. Maybe he's got some weapons. As far as he knows, this comes, he has all the weapons for him. Okay. Let's talk about his trading list. Let's pull this back up and take a look. Here's what he's looking for. A counter stop, a counter stop stove from 1981. GE brand. I'm not sure what a counter stop stove is. Moonlighting season two on DVD. CB radio return dial, Honda 1987 red dirt bike, left leg crutch, large leather leather baseball glove from 1975 or 1978, working early 1980s VCR or Betamax machine, and a Wi-Fi router that works super fast. A stove. He wants to trade his figures for a stove. Moonlight and Season 2 DVD. Just see. This has to be a, this is a joke, right? This has to be a joke. CB Radio with Turn Dial. Does that even work anymore? Can you even contact anybody on that? Honda 1987 Red Dirt Bike. How? I mean, you don't care. It has to be red. It has to be 87. It has to be Honda. A left leg crutch. I guess he's walking around with a white, with the right side. He needs a left one. A leather baseball glove. 75 or 78. What's the difference? Why not a 76? What's, what was it? Is he trying to collect every leather baseball glove from every year that's made one, and he, he needs those too? A working 1980s VCR or Betamax machine? I can see that. Uh, why, and a Wi-Fi router. Uh, a Wi-Fi router that's fast. He wants one of that's super fast. Apparently, he's having a slow time putting his ads up on Craigslist. Crazy, crazy. You guys will love this one here. You guys will love this one. Toy underwear for sale and feet. Take a look. The seller writes, I have some underwear action figure figures. They are good if you need them. I also have a pair of feet and legs, but they do not match. This is great if you want to make your old toys look better. I'm asking $100. Please, no texts, no phone calls, no emails. Did he say underwear for action figure action figures? Yeah, he said action figure action figures. I think he just meant action figure underwear. But this is the whole waste area of the G.I. Joe figures. Just missing all the parts except for the, I guess... The pants area. Crazy. And he's asking $100. But he's all saying, don't you text him. Don't you call him. Don't send him an email. How are you going to buy it? How are you going to meet this guy and give him money if you can't? Oh, these people. These people. He's harder than the people I met at VidCon. You don't have Craigslist on Tatooine? No, I don't have anything like that. But we do go around the sand crawler and try to sell worthless junk for outrageous prices to the locals. Well, that sounds about the same if you ask me. Uh, what's the name? I don't want to cut off the name of this one. Sorry. This is somebody selling some Star Wars vintage shoes. These are my old Star Wars shoes I got back in the 70s when I was like 8 years old. I got them a few weeks before going back to school. Hey, honestly, I think I had these same shoes R same shoes also. They had R2 on one of the bottom and 3 p on the other bottom. And I love stamping in the sand in them. You know, let's get back to reading. My mom said I could get any shoe I wanted. And I wanted Star Wars shoes. So Star Wars shoes I got. I don't blame him there. I love them and wore them for like 10 years. He wore a kid, baby. He wore a little kid shoes for 10 years. Let's say he bought these in 78. In 1988, he was still wearing his R2 and 3PO kid shoes. Oh, let's get back to it. Where was I? Okay, this is a small font. Okay. It made my sister Mark sad because he wanted Star Wars shoes, but never got any because I had Star Wars shoes. So how could she get Star Wars shoes? Well, this is this is this is too confusing. It made my sister Mark, my sister Mark, sad because he wanted Star Wars shoes, but never got any because I had Star Wars shoes. So how could she get Star Wars shoes if I had Star Wars shoes? Oh, I, first off, I don't know if your sister's a boy or a girl. What's going on there? And second, they only have one pair of shoes in the whole town. Hmm. Oh God, this is confusing. If she sees this, maybe she can finally get them. Hey, that's thinking. I like that. Asking $500 as they are rare and hard to find in good shape. I had other shoes also, but I didn't keep the others around. I did have some brown water boots, but they got washed away in the flood of 1982. 
I really did like them, and they were fun to jump around in the lake with. I also had some cowboy boots that said eat my dust on them that my grandpa got me, but my mom said that was very rude and nasty, and she wouldn't let me wear them unless I was at his house or Aunt Jelly's house for Thanksgiving. I do miss them. Anyway, Star Wars shoes, email me. Get them simple. <laughs> that, why is this guy so rambling? Why is this guy rambling so much about his water boots and his boots, his cowboy boots that say, eat my dust on them, which sounds kind of cool. This is some weird, weird stuff, man. Weird stuff. So like that post from the guy asking $250 for a burnt Luke Skywalker figure? That was you? Guilty. What about the post of that guy selling his childhood Tauntaun from 1977 to get his car fixed? Was that you also? Of course not. I know the Tauntaun was not released until 1980, and that photo was a 90s Tauntaun. I am not that crazy. Star Wars Toy X-Wing Mint. Keyword. Mint. $936. What an odd number. 936 Sorry I have to sell this. Why is he apologizing to us? We don't care. I'm a huge Star Wars collector, and I need to part ways with it because I need to get some money for my grandma. My grandma has to get Solis, I don't know what Solis, Solis is, replaced by the end of 2022. She ain't got much longer to go. Or she will lose her right leg. Ooh. Mama Jean said that she could stop eating so much sugar, but you know Grandma Curtis, you know that ain't gonna happen. No, Grandma Curtis is not gonna stop eating sugar to save her leg. No, she's not. I did try to get my step-uncle to pay for it because he won a lot of money on a scratcher he got at the AMPM last week. But he said he needs it, needs that money to get his daughter's truck out of the police impound lot before they auction it off and keep them money for a new coffee maker or something stupid. Not even the reading yet. Not even the reading this one yet. Okay. Hmm. It is missing. Bottom wing on the left side. The canopy. Landing leg on bottom. The right under wing. The battery wiring. And is cracked under the bottom. Other than that, it's like new, it's in great shape, asking $938, so I can use that money to buy a PS5. Contact me, or meet me at Toby's after work if his girlfriend isn't there. If she is, please leave the money in the mailbox, and I will get you the ship plane later. Get, oh, I'll get you the Star Wars plane later. You call it a plane at the end. Oh my god, where do oh, How do I even break this one down? Oh my, first up. Mint, you call this thing mint condition? He even listens to everything that's wrong with it. Let's see, what's wrong with it? Bottom wing's missing on the left and the right. Although it looks like they're both here in the photo. The canopy's missing. The landing leg's missing. The battery wiring is all taken out. And it's cracked on the bottom. That's some mint right there. Okay. He's a huge collector, but uh, he calls this thing a plane. Okay. Let's go on past that. But why is he selling it? Why? Because his grandma's got something wrong with her leg or something. And instead of not eating sugar, she's going to have to get her leg removed. Hmm. Mama Jean. Mama Jean's trying to teach her. I don't know who Mama Jean is. Why they tell And then the gram, Grandma Curtis. Who does, who's got a grandma named Curtis? That's an uncle name. <sighs> and there, apparently, grand, what was it, Grandma Curtis? Who was it? Who went to the A and Oh, his step-uncle. Went to the EMPM and got a lottery ticket. Got a lottery ticket at EMPM. Won a bunch of money, but no, he has to use that to get his daughter's truck out of the impound lot. I guess he got caught drunk driving or something and got it towed in. This is just the craziest post I've ever seen. Okay, so he goes through all this about his poor grandma trying to give you a snap story. And then he says he needs $938 so he can buy a PS5. PlayStation 5. I think it's a little cheaper than $930. It's not much money. He wants a little bit more pocket money, but... Is it for his grandma's leg surgery or a leg imitation? Or is it for a PlayStation 5? Or maybe maybe grandma's leg doesn't call. Maybe he knows someone at the flea market would remove grandma's leg for like 10 bucks and he's going to use the rest of it to buy a PlayStation. I'm not really sure. And the best of all, you can meet him at Toby's house. Who the freak is Toby? Oh, first I thought maybe Toby was the name of a store, but I don't think so, because it says Toby's girlfriend's there. Just leave the money in the mailbox, and he'll get you the Star Wars plane later. 
This this is a drug deal, right? This is this is some kind of coded drug deal. Old Star Wars figures free. Here are about ten Star Wars figures I had as a kid, and I'm looking to give them to Lena, Mississippi area on June on January 14th, and could pick me up at my house at 9:45 a.m. and take me to 2741 Trey Mill Road in Catton, Mississippi. And back home before 6 p.m. the same day. In return for the trip, I will give you these new old Star Wars figures that are worth a lot. How much, I'm really not sure. But they have to be worth more than a full tank of gas in your time. I'm sure you can sell off just one to make your money back and then some. Email only between 7 a.m. and 7.30 a.m. Thanks. <sighs> Okay, okay, this is just too crazy here. Okay, so free. He says 10. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. It's not about 10. It is 10 of them, it looks like. Some okay looking figures. I mean, they're missing a lot of stuff there. The free, not bad. But here's the catch. You have to be, you have to pick him up at his house in Linda, Mississippi. I'm not sure where Linda, Mississippi is. Um, if you're there and you want 10 figures, there you go. But you have to take him from there to... Cannon, Mississippi. I'm not sure how far that drive is. Hopefully it's not that far, because you have to pick him up at 9.45 and have him home at his house by 6 p.m. Not sure what he's going to do when he gets to Cannon, but you have to wait for a round for him to get done what he's doing so you can get him back home by 6 o'clock. And if you're going to email him to set up this strange meeting, he only will, you only can email him between 7 a.m. and 7.30. Why? I mean, it's not like a phone call where somebody would hear the phone ring. Is this some kid trying to run away? Or I don't understand what this is. I have to know what's in Kenton, Mississippi so much that he has to get there that he's going to give away Star Wars figurines. Oh, yeah, I said figurines. hate that word, and I like to say it. Odd. Odd, I know. But he said you could sell one and maybe get back tank of gas, so that's good. At least he's kind of honest. He does like he he don't know what they're worth. He don't know what they are. He's just like here's some old Star Wars figures. Pick me up my house. Take me to Canada, Mississippi to buy my crack cocaine or whatever he wants to buy, and get him back home before his mom gets home. I don't know. This is some strange ass shit. But it's not as strange as the guy selling photos of little kids wanting to trade them. That might be a new strange for even this series. It's a brand new Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Check it out. Oh, excuse me, it's not a Millennium Falcon. Let me start over. This is my Star Wars Medallion Falcon. I used to play with all the time as a kid. It looks new, never played with, and is almost 100% complete. You will never find one that looks better than this. Go ahead and try, and then come back and hope I have not sold it. At time, I can only take cash. Maybe we'll take money order next week. Have to see if I find my ID. Also, due to work, it's hard to meet up. If you are in a hurry, leave your money and a note saying what you are buying in an envelope and place it on the side of the bridge on Turka Road. At the end of the bridge, go in use. Buy the rock and burnt pipe. I will put the falcon there after I pick up the money. I have had five people already call me about getting this. It will go fast. Hurry. But it now. But it now. I got it this ass. He's more confused than James Charles in a JoJo concert. You're right, Primetime Charlie. I don't even know where to start with this one. Let's see. Let's start at the beginning. The name. The Medallion Falcon. Well, I'll be honest. I kind of like that. The Medallion Falcon. I kind of like that name. So I'm not going to pick on that one. He said it's new. Never played with. But he says it's from 1977. And then he said he had it as a kid. And he used to play with it as a kid. But it says it was never even played with. Do they even read what they're writing? And he says it's... Almost completed. Almost 100% complete. I guess 99, but you don't say almost 100%. That's just... Oh, this is just too much. Okay, let's see what else we're going to do. Uh, whoever this guy is, I hope he finds his ID. That's right. He'll take a check, or he'll take a money order, if he finds his ID. And apparently he's so busy at work that uh, if you aren't hurt to get it, he wants you to put your money, your $600, in an envelope... Put it by a bridge, by a burnt pipe and a rock. Sketch. And then come back later and he'll have the falcon there waiting for you. That sounds more sketchy than the time Sean Dawson tricked James Charles into giving his ad money when all along he knew Tana Mojo had it. You said it, Primetime Charlie. Hey, jump man, <laughs> channel popping though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony. <laughs> <laughs> 